Here's a couple of examples of the sorts of things that humanists might disagree about. One would be the extent to which scientific knowledge is the one kind of knowledge that we need. Um, some humanists would be committed to what traditionally, philosophically, has been called positivism, the idea that the only reliable knowledge is knowledge arrived at by the use of scientific method, by scientific hypothesis, um, observation and experiment to test hypotheses. Other humanists would say, no, there's a lot more to our understanding of the world and our understanding of our lives than just the kind of knowledge that, that science can give us. Many humanists would say, for example, that it's equally important to draw on our um, shared tradition of the arts, of literature, which can give us a different kind of understanding, an understanding of our own lives, perhaps, and the significance of our lives, um, understanding what it is to be human, understanding what it is to fall in love, understanding what it is to grieve, understanding um, what it is to um, make moral choices, understanding what it is to deal with tragedy. So that would be one um, not necessarily conflict, but one contrast between different emphases within the humanist tradition. Another example, I think, would be within the sphere of humanist ethics, humanist morality. I think uh, there's, there's something of a contrast between humanists who think that a moral theory of some kind is what we need to give us um, a way of answering moral questions. Many humanists are attracted to the tradition often referred to as utilitarianism, the idea that all values ultimately come down to the promotion of human happiness and that the right action will always be that which um, does the most good to human lives in general. Other people, other humanists, I think, will be more suspicious of one single simple um, value or, or value approach um, will be more inclined to draw on a diversity of different values, uh, recognise that our moral thinking is untidy, is pluralistic, um, that there's not always a right answer, not always a simple solution. So different conceptions of how we, how we argue about uh, moral issues and how we make moral decisions, again, would be the sort of thing that humanists could disagree about, but within a shared framework of uh, reliance on human reason uh, and, and human thought as, a way, as the only way of tackling our moral questions. The diversity of views within humanism is part of its richness. Uh, it's um, a, a central fact about the progress of human knowledge and human understanding uh, that it grows through disagreement, through the ability of people to question one another, to question what they have previously thought to argue with one another, to disagree, and through trying to hammer out um, uh, their disagreements to arrive at um, uh, conclusions which will stand up to rational examination. Humanism embodies that practice within itself, a practice of disagreement, of argument, uh, and of learning from dialogue and disagreement. That diversity at the heart of humanism is part of its importance, part of its richness.